Hi guys, welcome to this third tutorial in this series of programming Arduino. We are now ready to make our first Arduino project. We're gonna do a very simple project, blinking an LED. All of us start learning programming with the famous Hello World. In microcontroller programming, Hello World example is usually blinking an LED. In this video, we will learn how to blink an LED with Arduino. In the second tutorial, we use the onboard LED at pin 13 of the Arduino. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how you can connect an external LED to any digital pin of the Arduino. An LED or light emitting diode is a semiconductor light source when forward biased it emits light. LEDs are used mainly to indicate the status of electronic circuit for example, to indicate that power is on or off, but nowadays they are used in many applications including lighting and beam detection. Today, you can easily get a white, a blue, red, green, yellow or even infrared LEDs. An LED is similar to a diode. It has two leads. The longer lead is the anode or the positive lead, and the shorter lead is the cathode or the negative lead. The intensity or the brightness of the LED depends on the amount of forward current passed through this device. The more current, the brighter the LED, but we must always take attention not to exceed the maximum allowable forward current as this could damage the LED. Or if we draw more current than the Arduino output pin can handle, this could also destroy the Arduino. So for this reason, it's always good to connect an LED with a series resistor. A good choice to use 470 ohms resistor. You can use other resistors depending on your particular application, but you must always consider not to exceed the allowable forward current. Okay, let us build our circuit. We're gonna use an Arduino and a breadboard. This way you can connect an LED to your Arduino. We're gonna use a breadboard because it makes prototyping very easy. The longer lead, which is the anode, is going to be connected to our digital output pin. You can use any digital output. In this example, we're going to use D7 through a 470 ohms resistor. And the cathode lead or the negative lead of the LED is connected to ground of the Arduino. And that all, guys, is very simple. Then all you need is connect the USB cable and upload the sketch. So we're going to write a simple sketch to blink this LED. The on time is going to be 2 seconds and the off time is going to be 1 second. going to teach you guys how you can use a delay. So let us start a new sketch. So when you start a new sketch with Arduino, Arduino always expect two functions. The first function is called setup and the second one is called loop. In the setup function, is where you put all the code that you want to execute once at the beginning of your sketch. And inside the loop function is the core of your program. This is the code that will be executed over and over again. This is done because the Arduino, like other microcontrollers, is not like a regular computer. It can't quit while running a program. It has to execute a code over and over again. So in our Blink LED, we're going to write the code to blink our LED inside this loop function so that it can blink over and over again until you switch off your Arduino board. So let us write our code. This is the code that we have written to blink our LED. The first thing we did, we wrote some few comments. Any text beginning with two forward slash or anything between forward slash star, star forward slash is ignored by the Arduino. So you can use this to write your comment. It's always good to document your code so that somebody else can understand what you are trying to write. As you have said, this is the setup void. The setup function runs once when you press reset or you power your board. In this setup, we're going to initialize our pin. The first thing is a void setup. We're going to write the code that will be executed only once. We're going to initialize our digital pin, pin 7, as an output. So we have to tell the Arduino that the pin 7 is going to be used as an output. You can also set it as an input if you want to read something from that pin. The first statement that we're going to do is to initialize our digital pin 
7 as an output pin. To do that, we're going to use pin mode function. This is to tell the Arduino board how you want to configure your pins. This function takes two arguments. The first argument is to select a specific pin. And the second argument is to tell the Arduino whether that pin is going to be an input or it's going to be an output. Input, if you want to read from a pin, let's say you are connecting a push button to that pin, then you want to read the status of that push button. And an output is to write something to that pin. In our case, we're going to use an output because we want to switch on an LED connected to this pin. So we're going to use the pin 7. You can specify any digital pin that is available for you to use. And the second function is the void loop. This is the piece of code that will run over and over in an endless loop. Digital write. This function is used to turn on or off any pin that have been configured as a digital output. As with the pin mode, this function takes also two arguments. The first argument is to tell the Arduino which pin that we are controlling. And the second argument is to tell digital write whether to set the voltage level to low, which is going to be zero, and switch off anything connected to this pin, or to set the voltage level to five or high, which is going to be to switch on anything connected to this pin. So in our case, we're going to start with digital write. We're going to specify seven, which is our output pin. We're going to set this pin to high. Then we're going to use another function. This is a delay function. It takes only one argument. This is going to tell the microcontroller to sit here and do nothing for the amount of milliseconds that you pass as an argument. As we're going to pass 2000 milliseconds, which is going to be 2 seconds. So the microcontroller is going to sit here for 2 seconds and do nothing, which is going to create a delay of 2 seconds. Then we're going to use the same function again, digital write. In this case, we're going to set it to low so that we can switch off this LED. Then we're going to have another short delay of one second. And the loop is going to start over again. So let us compile our sketch. And if there is no error, everything will compile fine. Okay, verify. The compilation was done successfully. Let us build our project in Proteus so that we can be able to simulate. But for us to be able to simulate our code, we're going to need a .x file generated after we have compiled our sketch. To be able to get this file, we have to change our preferences. Go to File and click on Preferences. And you have to tick this Show Verbose Output During Compilation. And click OK. So now we're going to compile again. And this time we're going to get a link to our .x file that we can use with Proteus. Verify. Now you have to copy the address of the generated .x file. This is the address of the generated .x file. So we're going to select it. Control C. Okay. This is our project. We're going to need only few components. The first one we're going to need an Arduino board. We're going to use the Arduino Uno. The second thing we're going to need an LED. And the last thing we're going to need a 470 ohms resistor. Okay. Let's connect our series resistor. We're going to connect it to D7. Connect our LED. The positive is going to be connected to D7 through this series resistor. And the negative is going to be connected to ground. So right click your Arduino board. Edit properties. Now we have to paste the link of our .exe file. Control V. Click OK. Now we can run our simulation. Run. Our LED is switch on for two seconds and it's going to be off for one second. And this is going to continue on and off until we switch off our Arduino board. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. And if you've got any comment, you're welcome to leave your comment on this video or on our website. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.